Hey there everybody. Uh, today I have the privilege to work with one of my pro athletes and she's been kind enough to do a nice interview with me. So shortly we're going to be asking her some questions as to what I do as a service provider for her, what it means for her uh, career and her profession. And so this is a nice uh, snapshot into the day in the life of a professional athlete, how they take care of their bodies and what some of the things that you guys might want to do even though you may not be a professional athlete but how to maintain your body in balance, keep it healthy, and prevent injuries. Okay, so surely we'll continue with the interview with Tori. Hey Tori, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? How have you been feeling? Um, pretty good, a little under the weather with um, the flu, but feeling back to normal. Yeah, so uh, just question for you, a uh, little background as to what you do and why you're here. Um, yes, I am a professional soccer player for the Washington Spirit. Um, we train up in Germantown, Maryland, and play teams all throughout the the U.S. in eight other different cities, and a lot of the national team players are within those teams. A lot of international players play, and this will be my seventh season. Wow. Um, so why did you reach out to us today? Um, so today, I guess, well, a couple of years back, um, got in contact with you through Chris Ward. He just suggested that um, I come and see you. You have a different way of looking at things and looking at the body and um, thought it might be beneficial and um, I know we've worked together in the past and then here today just because I think that the work that we've put in in the past has been really beneficial and going into a new season just want to get my body right. Yeah, no, that's great. Chris is a, Chris is a great guy. Thank yeah. you again. Uh, uh, why is that important to you? Um, so being a professional athlete is a 24-7 job. I have to constantly be focused on my body. I have to eat, eat right, sleep right, um, so that I can play right and feel right. And um, I think doing the things that we have done here, um, your FST massage and then training programs and whatnot is beneficial to me as an, as an athlete, a, a whole round athlete. Awesome, that's excellent. Um, and what results, speaking on how important that is, what results have you seen from that? Um, definitely with the FST I've just felt better all around I think stretching is definitely something that I don't do enough of and it kind of, I think you have kind of looked at stretching in a different light and kind of opened my eyes to a different way to um, make my body more flexible and I still use those techniques techniques even if I'm not in here um, and then I think just training wise and speed wise I think looking at things a bit differently um, has been beneficial as well so that I'm moving properly and um, you know you don't have to use tons of weight and be able to you know push through walls but if you're able to move properly it might make it a little bit easier. Awesome, very good. Um, what advice would you give to any parent um, regarding some of the things that you're doing now, right? maybe having some of these services as you were growing up, you know, obviously now that you're a professional, but would you think that that's advantageous as, as a youth growing up, kind of coming up the chain? Yeah, I think um, a lot of this wasn't available to me as I was growing up. Um, recovery wasn't something I ever really thought about, and it wasn't until college that, you know, I was starting to, to get little niggles here and there, and then kind of started asking questions. When you're younger, you're not having those issues as much, but... Sure. I think I would have benefited and maybe prolonged my career even more. I mean, we'll see, but um, had I been doing those types of recovery techniques and um, actually had a great guy through high school as far as training is concerned and still speak to him regularly, but um, I think the all of the recovery techniques are extremely important and as a parent, if you don't know what those things are, I would just say educate yourself and there are people out there that know a lot of information and um, trying to find those different people that can help your kids as athletes um, would be really important I think. Very good, awesome. Um, so is there anything you'd look for particularly in a good training session? Uh, um, definitely a good warm-up and I think that involves, um, I, I mean I use a foam roller every single day and before and after training and then it's kind of um, imperative for my body to go through some sort of movement prep and activation 
um, before I actually get started in my training program. Um, whatever that is, whether that's lifting, whether that's a technical session or a speed conditioning session. Um, definitely preparing my body properly before I even step on the field. Um, that's kind of what I try to do most of and then like I said just the recovery and everything about the recovery as soon as I'm done I'm, I'm trying to recover right then and there um, whether that's stretching on the field getting in a nice bath um, having someone give me a massage or soft, some sort of soft tissue work so that I'm then preparing myself for the next session awesome so it's important for your recovery right? yes. for so thank you very much yeah, uh, thanks for taking some time with us and hopefully shedding some light on if you guys have any questions just shoot me an email or a comment down below and I'll answer any questions you have. Thanks again. Thanks.